I'm no gadget freak, but I firmly believe that having the right equipment will greatly improve your baking. If you struggle to roll out pie dough, or if your tart crust burns when it's baking, it might not be you, it might be your equipment. In this episode, I'll show you the essential tools you'll need to master pies and tarts. Okay, let's talk about pans. Let's start with pie plates. I like to use glass pie plates for a couple of reasons. This is a nine inch pie plate. It's always a consistent size, no variations. I also like it because it's glass, you can see through and you can see how your crust is browning. Tart pans. We're using tart pans with a removable bottom, just like this. You want one that's just about nine and a half inches wide from scalloped edge to scalloped edge. And you wanna make sure that you choose one that's pretty sturdy and not flexible and bendy. Also, you wanna stay away from dark ones or the non-stick ones. They can cause your crust to burn. Next up are measuring tools. The most important piece of equipment in any kitchen, in my opinion, is a scale. It's used to weigh fruit, and most importantly, it's used to weigh flour. Measuring flour by weight rather than volume gives more consistent results. And once you get used to weighing out flour, you'll find it even more convenient. If you don't have a scale, you want to make sure you're using the most accurate method for measuring flour by volume. Dry measure, spoon in the flour, scrape to level. You don't want to use these for liquid ingredients. Use a glass measure for those. Now over to hand tools. Let's start with rolling pins. There are lots of different types out there. This one has ball bearings and handles on either side. It's a very traditional American style. Or you'll see French style rolling pins that have tapered ends. With the tapered ends, you just wanna make sure you have one that's just tapered on the very end and has a long flat surface so that it doesn't wobble back and forth you'll get an undulating crust if you use this. This red one is quite sharp looking, but it has a very narrow area where you can roll a dough. I'd stay away from that one too. My second favorite piece of equipment is the ruler. If a recipe says to roll out the dough to a certain size, how else are you gonna know when it's at that size? Next up, bench scrapers. Plastic ones, and this is a metal one with a plastic handle. They also come with wooden handles as well. You'll see that they both have a straight edge and they're good for a lot of things around the kitchen. You can use it to help you loosen doughs that might be stuck to the counter. You can use it to divide doughs into portions. You can use it to score doughs before cutting into strips for let's say the lattice crust. And you can also use them to scrape up all the hardened bits and clean up your counter. Offset spatulas come in a variety of sizes. I like to stock a small one like this and a larger one. The larger one is handy to loosen up sticky doughs from the counter and both of them are good for spreading fillings evenly. And now for a few odds and ends. A pastry brush or two is a great thing to have. You'll use it to brush off excess flour and to brush on glazes. Kitchen scissors always handy so that you're not using the ones that maybe have play-doh on them and this is a pastry blender you'll also see versions that are more oval and have a wooden handle it's used to cut the butter and flour together and then there's parchment paper most grocery stores sell it in rolls but i like to buy it in pre-cut sheets it's easier to work with and it's already flat it comes in two sizes small size, and then one twice this size. Two power appliances get a lot of activity when I'm baking pies and tarts, a food processor and a stand mixer. You can use either of these to mix your dough, as I'll show you in coming episodes. And finally, no pie and tart kitchen should be without a good offset pie server. After all, how else are you gonna get a beautiful slice out of the pan?